I don't I don't attribute it to it being ratings. Um, I attribute it to let me word this really carefully. Um, we've been doing a lot of like stories on our platform where we'll talk about why certain shows ended. Mm -hmm. What was the reason why Smart Guy ended? Um, was it just ratings or just like it it wasn't I don't I don't attribute it to it being ratings. Um, I attribute it to let me word this really carefully. When networks, when new networks are building their audience, and when they're looking to transition to attract a more mainstream audience, they will adjust their time slots and scheduling accordingly to meet that audience. The WB, alongside with like other networks like Fox when they first launched. UPN, I think. UPN. Went to the CW. Yeah. Um, they, in the very beginning, when these networks were launched, had a lot of content that was geared towards African-American or minority audiences um, to build, to bring in the viewers because we, they knew we were going to sit down and look at it. And, after a while, when they're looking to attract a wider audience, a more mainstream audience, then they'll go, okay, well, what show can we fit in this time slot now that can cater to that audience that we're trying to attract? So that's essentially what happened. So it was doing well. It was doing well, but it was just, the network was like, okay, well, we want to try something different. We're kind of moving in a different path now. This has been fun. It's actually a Disney show, so Disney, if they want to continue to put it on Disney Channel, which they did, they can, but we as the WB are going to move in a different direction now. So therefore, we're going to switch up, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just business. Um, How old were you at the time? Uh, 1920. So you were well seasoned. Yeah, so I knew what it was. I mean, I was disappointed that we couldn't continue to go on. Right. But I knew what they were trying to do. And I knew that at the end of the day, maybe for that time being, we served our purpose. We made some great money. We had some great experiences together. These are still people that I still talk to and interact and hang out with to this day. That's so, everyone? Yeah. Okay. So, no, I, I, I walked away from that experience, like, not feeling that we were shortchanged in any kind of way. Um... Now, I wish we could have went into syndication where the residual checks could have been way bigger than what they are now, but the residuals that we get in now aren't that bad. Like, we may not be a fully syndicated show, but... How far uh, along the way were y'all... Did you need, like, another season? We needed, we needed, I think, like, two more seasons. We were on our third season, and we needed, we needed the next season because we were, like, a, a 21... We were, like, a 21-episode um, show. Um, and like once you get to 100 episodes, then you can go into what I they think they've even lowered it recently. They probably have lowered it recently because now it's like 80 hundred, yeah, something like that. Spot. Yeah, because I mean, the uh, the playing field has expanded and there's so much competition out there that there are not a lot of shows that can survive that long. We're talking about in an era where it was like what the big six or the big five networks. That was really all that was out there. And even cable television at that time wasn't as relevant as it is now. I don't think even HBO was doing the level of uh, original content that they're doing now. So no, it would, it would have just taken two more seasons and we would have gotten there, but still all in all, great experience. Love Left Smart Guys. Thanks to everyone who tuned in, who supported it. Like that was awesome. Like I just ran into somebody a couple of days. But yeah, that's like refreshing that you were able to kind of break that down. You know, just the, the transition out of uh Cause we've, I feel like our audience understands exactly what you're saying. Yeah. They, they get it cause we've seen it with other shows. Yeah. So. No, I mean, and especially people that are watching this cause I'm assuming, you know, not only are there fans watching, but there are professionals who are watching this as well, who, you know, can relate to it. Um, whether they're, whether they've been staff writers or producers or actual on-screen talent, like this is the business. Then you can't take it personal. One day you have a job, the next day you don't. But you get out in the street and you get another one. With all these reboot conversations, is there any way for like, you see a reboot happening? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that would, that would be up to Disney. Um, if they wanted to do that, um, that would also be contingent upon 
everyone's availability. I know Essence is on a show right now on OWN with Robin Givens, which is doing real well. Shout out to Essence, proud of you sis. Um, Omar Gooding, really good friend of mine, my dog. Um, he's doing a family time right now uh, with Bentley Kyle Evans on Bounce TV. Um, I think Taj is doing some stuff. Like, it just all depends. I, I know I would be open to it if they wanted to do it. I'd be down to do it. But that's really dependent upon Disney, Suzanne DePass, and I'm assuming Taj Maury at this point. Um, yeah. Because he would be the driving force behind it. Well, it depends, too. Not to, not to say we will dismiss Taj, um, Taj, but it depends on how you write it out. Yeah, it depends on how you write it out. Let me ask you this. You wouldn't do it without Taj? Nah, I wouldn't do it without Taj. Nah, I mean, I wouldn't do it without any of those people that were involved in the original because those are, those are my friends and I love all of those guys. And it, it, I mean, the whole fun of coming back possibly and doing a show like that is to be able to work with the people that you loved working with years ago.